actually this outbreak of this one volcano in Iceland, I think it barely even mattered to Austrian air travel to be to be quite blunt, but okay, we're gonna roll with it. Still alcohol abuse. Still some crime. Well, that's not the problem, but the state health service, um, it's increasing its cost. It's pushing down on the health. Maybe, just maybe, we will still upgrade the police force. <sighs> Even though that's a lot of money. Well, actually, it will battle... Wait a second. There will be more unemployment. Oh, no. Sorry, I'm reading this totally wrong. Yeah, maybe we want to do that. I think we actually want to do that. Good. What about gambling? What about a bit more gambling? No stakes limit, no restrictions. I mean, maybe some organized crime is going to pop up, but I really do not think so. Especially not in Austria. Okay. So yeah, volcanic eruption is going to come next round, but now the Endra, which I actually wanted to cancel, but I, thankfully I forgot about it, is going to take care of it quite fast. Okay, so let's see what Volcanic Ash Cloud actually does. Credit rating upgrade. Well, finally, we're on a B again. Volcanic Ash Cloud, what does it do? Oh, the technology is actually pushing it down as well, and the Endra. Nice. Okay, so tourism is going down, makes sense. Air travel is impossible. Wow, that is really hard. Minus 100% of air travel. That's quite cool. I mean, it's extreme, and it's it's completely cool. Okay, um... So yeah, State TV, how am I going to explain this in English? English is not my first language, if you haven't figured it out by now. Um... How am I, go am I going to explain what sucks about the Austrian State TV while still playing this game? Because I'm pretty sure I can't focus on both. Do I want small business grants? Do I want a space program? An Austrian space program? Actually, that's exactly what we need. Bam. Uh, with all this technology going on here, I can see internet crime popping up very soon. But we'll get to it when we get to it, I guess. Oh, hell. Okay, well, pollution and uh, asthma epidemic just is here because of the volcanic ash cloud, but organized crime. Whew. I did not think it would be that ridiculously strong. Um, keep planning restrictions. Wow, okay, so no gambling. No more gambling. No more gambling for anyone. Cancel policy. I don't want to deal with it anymore. Okay, and uh, the environment is destroyed. But actually, it's not... That's not that much. Volcanic Ash Cloud is going to go away this turn. But still, it's a very bad sign that that's enough to bring this over the limit. By that much, actually. Okay, so that was the flooding damage. No, the flood... That was flooding damage. Then the flooding damage... Okay. Oh, it's because of the GDP. Oh, of course, GDP has been rising so much. Okay, okay, okay. So we need to do something about that. How about... How about micro-generation grants? Boom. We also have car emission limits. We're going to set that to maximum in a second. And we also have clean energy subsidies, which we're going to raise also. Which I hope will battle this. Scientific discovery, right? Volcanic ash cloud at an end, but there's internet crime now. Because of the organized crime. And the organized crime is still here. Very weird. Okay. Um, do we want to bring the intelligence services up to maximum? Because I do not think that that's going to be enough. We may need internet censorship. Which again, goes against any, everything liberal. But, I mean, we can't ignore that. Um, okay, well, first of all, car emission limits to maximum. Uh, clean energy subsidies to maximum. We're making a surplus, actually, so... Yeah. 
I don't know where I was going with that. I just wanted to make you see that we were making a surplus, actually. Okay, so organized crime is going to drop where it stood. Still alcohol abuse. Come on! Ah, why does this suck so much? Okay, intelligence services. How how about the liberals in our country? Well, they like us. They like us a fair bit, actually. So, maybe we'll just crank this up. No. It won't be enough to get rid of, of internet crime. So, internet, uh, the, the, uh, I forgot the name. Uh, we're going to ban internet tracking, but in the same turn, Come on, organized crime! What the hell is wrong with you? Uh, we we oh, we had gambling and there was no organized crime. Now we got rid of gambling entirely, and there's still organized crime. Is that what you're trying to tell me? God damn it! Okay, where is um not wiretapping? What am I looking for? Internet censorship. Oh, holy hell! Okay, so. We're going to go to extreme cases. Liberals hate this. And we're still going to have to crank up the intelligence services because we need to get rid of the uh, uh, the internet crime. Damn, that sucks so much. How is asthma epidemic... Uh, God damn it. Okay. Fuel efficiency standards. is going to be okay-ish but we're gonna need something big for the economy here uh, not for the economy what? okay so what you're trying to say is I could crank this up and battle cyber warfare Okay, but I guess I could also just crank up internet censorship. Yes, I could. Holy damn, why do liberals hate this so much? I really don't want to crank up internet censorship. Ah, oh, that sucks so much. National Service, I want to get rid of that too, actually. Okay, what to do? We have quite a surplus, so we're going to spend it on our military. I cannot believe I'm saying this. I was at the military because, as I said, well, there's still compulsory military service. So I was there, I saw it, and it is disgusting. Um, well, not so much disgusting, it's just ineffective and it just makes you angry that you have to spend your time there uh, for six months. Um, There's nothing else that's going to battle this. We have, we basically have too much technology. The space program was a bit too much. Maybe, but it's battling unemployment. Ah, oh, it's giving us so much. But no, sorry, no Austrian space station right here. It's causing too much trouble. And next time, oh, alcohol abuse. Finally, pandemic outbreak. Well, this is going to suck. So, we are going to enact the CPMDC. I'm going to crank this up to maximum. Um, do we want? Do we still want the Endra? Farmers hate this, and capitalists hate the Endra. I can live with both at the moment. Okay. Internet crime, still high. Organized crime is going to go away next round. Okay, so let's put some money into our military. Boom. Unemployment is going to go down. Holy hell. Liberals not going to like this, but it's only 9%. It's way better than um, putting more money into the internet censorship. And we'll still have to do something. And we'll have to enact pollution controls. Okay. Pandemic outbreak is now here. Health, everyone, productivity, tourism, retired. Nice. Okay. Trading rating upgraded. We are now at triple B. And we're going to bring back the pollution controls. 
Next round, probably, um, both of these are going to drop because we just lot lost a lot of productivity. We're also going to lose the high productivity gain right here. Less productivity means less GDP. Less GDP or less economy means less pollution. So those two are going to go down, but as soon as the pandemic outbreak ends, they might resurface. That's why I still put in the pollution controls. Of course, the pandemic outbreak is just going to screw our GDP. Oh, I didn't even know there were elections. And I still have not forgotten to talk about the state TV. Wow, that's a landslide victory if I ever saw one. Okay, 98%. Who does not like us? The capitalists. I thought so. Religious? There shouldn't be too many of them. Motorists and self-employed. Okay. Yeah, high productivity ended. People smuggling. Deport them. I'm sorry. They still came here on illegal terms. Still have to re deport them. Um, so everyone is pissed because of the pandemic outbreak, but that's going to end in probably about three turns. I really hope I'm louder than this music here. I should be, but, you know, I've been wrong about other things. So, internet crime, cyber warfare, that's all going pretty nice. Do we want to enact something? Maybe maternity leave back on. Uh, maybe a mortgage tax relief, actually. Ooh, stem cell research. Huh. Stem cell research. I mean, I'm trying to, to slim down on the technology, actually, so maybe that's not the best choice here. Um... The national monorail system would be quite nice. Monorail. 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 What's it called? Damn right, it's called monorail. Okay. Better prisons. Why not? Okay. Bomb detonated on the commuter train. That's one of those new events, again, that comes with the mod. Credit rating downgraded. That's okay. Pandemic outbreak is going to be around for a while, actually. Our state health service is not that great. Oh, wait, it is. It's just not that great against the pandemic outbreak, it would seem. Okay. Well, we're just going to have to live with that. Internet crime still dropping a fair bit. Cyber warfare... Cyber warfare is going to end. That's... Well, that's good, I guess. But it means our GDP will rise, which, again will mean that pollution and asthma epidemic will go back on a little bit. We have a lot of points. We really should do something with that. Uh, hybrid cars initiative. Small business grants. I think it's about time we did that. Yep. Again, it's going to raise our GDP, but okay. Prostitution. I think we're going to get rid of prostitution. Not because I'm morally opposed to it, I just... You know, it pisses off so many people. Also, it would be another source for organized crime, I'm pretty sure of that. So, yeah, you know what. It doesn't have to be, so get rid of it. Jury trial, always a good way to get those liberals to like you if you have the money, and we actually do not have the money. Hmm. I didn't look at that. Okay, cyber warfare is gone, pollution is gone, GDP is going back up, which is good. We really need to get rid of this. I really want to destroy national service, even though conservatives like it. Liberals don't, the youth don't, of course, because you'll lose six months of your life. Also, there's the social service, so if you do not want to join the military, you can do social service, which is okay for health and also okay for the retired, but again, it steals time from the youth. And seeing as I count myself amongst the youth, I'm going to get rid of it. As my epidemic is down, credit rating goes up, unemployment goes down, which is very nice. GDP is almost back to before cyber warfare and internet crime combined. 
Is our technology rising? Yeah, it is, actually. Hmm, I really hope that the internet, uh, the intelligence services will take care of this. So, what about the pandemic outbreak? Mm, two, maybe even three rounds until this gets resolved. Which sucks. Okay, what else do we want? We still do not have our um, high productivity back, so we're going to go with the childcare provision right here. Nice. And, damn it, I lost my window, window of opportunity. Missed it, not lost it. Where is it? I can't find it anymore. God damn it. We got another Nobel Prize. Uh, I think Austria in total has gotten two Nobel Prizes. Both of them are for... Now, is one for peace? One's for peace, I think, about around 1900, and one's for literature. Elfriede Jelinek, if I remember correctly, got the Literature no Nobel Prize five years ago. Something about around that. Okay. No, no more national service for you. Uh, Patriots not going to like this. 47%? Wow! Okay, let's crank up for an aid. Why not? Okay. So the Endra is still here. The CPMDC is still here. Maybe DNA database. Uh, prevent database. We don't need a DNA base. I could have checked that. I'm stupid. Maybe the task force. I mean, it says here that it's uh, it's only against organized crime, but does this count? No, it does not. Okay, never mind. Wow, capitals really do not like us for all the stuff, for all the shit that we've pull been pulling. Um, we could get rid of our corporation tax at this point in time. Well, not at this point, because duh, we don't have enough capital. So what pisses off the capitalists? I mean, there's not that many of them, but still, I mean... Art subsidies, right, they hate art. Um, the labor laws, ah, uh, we still did not take care of the labor laws, which we should probably go back to set to balanced. Transport minister resigns, god damn it. Okay. Parents and commuters, yeah, actually that should be okay. All right. Um, what did I want to do? Right, the labor laws. We're going to bring the labor laws back to balanced. Where is it? Where is th there's one sweet spot, and I wish they would have pointed it out, but I think it should be around here. Okay. Pandemic outbreak is going to fail us. Internet crime. Ah. <sighs> I really, I really hope that that's going to work, but I fear that it isn't. We might have to cut down on some of this. Our education is top notch, so that's not going to be a problem. Okay, university grants are just way too cool. Tech colleges or tech grants? Tech grants have a higher impact on our economy. So I would really probably just throw down on the tech colleges. Maybe around 200 million? Well, maybe we can, we can just do that, actually. It's not going to be much of a change here. Okay. Okay. Retired still love us, so that's okay. What about border controls? Maybe less border controls, but citizen uh, citizenship tests. 
Although I really uh, am not a fan of citizenship tests, I think they're quite embarrassing because a lot of the way the way most citizenship tests are um, are produced, well, a lot of people who live here couldn't fill out an Austrian citizenship test if their life depended on it. So I don't know. That's sort of just wrong. Oof, this is not going to be enough. This is not going to be enough. <coughs> Tech colleges are just going to cut down on this so much, it's not going to be enough. Ah, uh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. We have a lot of points, but I really don't see how we're going to get rid of internet crime apart from doing that. Oh, that's harsh. That's so harsh. Well, that's it. That's what you have to do sometimes. Okay. Is there anything we want at this point? Is there anything we really... Well, not want. Is there anything we need at this point? Um, not really. Consumer rights. Well, actually, I like consumer rights. Let's look at those. What do they do? Capitalists don't like him. Liberals don't like Liberals do like him. Cuts down on the GDP. Cooling off periods. I actually do not know what that means. I think we'll leave it at that and we'll probably cancel it next round. They're not that great, actually. Okay. High productivity. Nice. Toxic waste dump. No. Thank you for asking, but no. Okay. So, since there's not much to do in the way of gameplay anymore, I'm just going to play around with some of the sliders and spend our money. Um, where are those... Right, customer rights. Boom. Bye bye. Um, instead, I'm going to focus talking about the state TV. So, state TV. Um, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Welfare minister. Mm, self employed and parents, okay. That should be alright. Credit rating upgraded. We are now an A. Poverty is going up. That's very weird. Oh, alcohol tax. We could cut the alcohol tax. Do we have a deficit right now? A little bit. Still, I think we can cut the alcohol tax. Because it's creating artificial poverty. Oh, internet crime, finally. Okay, so, Austrian State TV. Um, there is some system behind it. People, people pay this this state TV tax um, because well that's just that's just how Austria rolls so we have state TV um, and it's actually actually the really original reason we have state TV sorry I'll have to I'll have to stop myself every now and then because I'll have to think about what I want to do while I talk which really is is not as easy as it sounds um, the reason we have state TV is that state TV is going to sort of inform the country. It has, uh, I really don't know how to translate that, I'm sorry, it has a Bildungsauftrag, which means it's here to educate people, to bring culture to the public, um, and um, information and, um, you know, neutral, or at least as neutral as possible, news and so on and so forth. But the Austrian state TV fails miserably at doing any of those. Which is why a lot of people really don't like it. And um, every time there is there is a, a shift in power in Austria, this topic comes up. And, uh, well, so far, State TV manages 
to stay because what it basically does um, when there's election when there's election time in Austria all those political debates they're on on state TV there are some private channels who do it but most of them or the biggest ones are on on the state TV channels so they can sort of influence that and I'm not saying they're trying to manipulate anything but they know that as long as the uh, bigger parties not like the super liberal or the super extremist parties come into power as long as the uh, regulated sort of conservative parties and I have to say I think that our uh, social Democrats are actually also can also be called or should also be called um, sort of conservative at this point um, and as long as, as our big socialist party and our big conservative party stay in power then state TV is going to stay there so again I'm not saying that they're actually manipulating anything but they know well it's, it's their survival that's on, on on the line here so you kind of see that um, sometimes and I have to say I think you see it more often and more often um, the older I get the more I, I, I just realize that that when there's election time state TV is really great on you know bashing the opposition I mean that sounds that sounds harsh they, they're very very subtle about it but if you if you start to to really think about that satellite road pricing sorry I just got carried away there um, do you want that I think that's pretty nice actually catalysts like it sure why not um, so they kind of go easy on the big parties and are really trying to shovel shit towards the uh, smaller parties because of course they want to stay in power so you can't really blame them for that but at the same time that's not what state TV was created for and it's ridiculous that you have to pay a tax for it which is also why the tax at um, the what is it the TV tax uh, is just negative in this in this game um, again TV tax is something that was created for the for the Austria mod and uh, yeah there are a lot of people who just refuse to pay it and um, the current system it's it's very easy to have state TV and not pay your TV tax because those guys who check if you have a TV or if you if you watch t uh, state TV and so on and so forth, uh, they actually are not allowed to enter your home without permission. So whenever they're at your house, they actually have to ask you, may I enter? And then you say, what are you going to do here? And he says, well, I'm here for the GIS, which is TV tax. And then you say, nope. And that's all they can do. They can, they're going to throw warnings at you, you know, that they're going to, I don't know, take away your TV, uh, TV or come back with with a police warrant whatever but they actually cannot do this so yeah um, you want an airport expansion actually yes it's good for the GDP why not not a really need GDP at this point but okay so yeah Austria not a difficult country at this point in time I do think that there is nothing left that I want to do except click next enhanced interrogation techniques I think that's also one of the new uh, dilemmas that actually either came with a mod or with a last patch not sure either way pretty nice pretty nice um, our subsidies actually we're gonna crank those up so yeah that's that's the issue of state TV um, and it's it's not the biggest issue in Austria by far it's not the biggest issue but you know it's something that gets people riled up so yeah I wanted to contribute to that discussion um, not saying that I'm right or anything but you know I do have a very strong opinion in the field that many Austrians actually do because state TV is just not what it was created for anymore flooding well we're going to get rid of that pretty nicely but uh, reject ban. Problem is, 
Huh, the last flooding is actually still active and that's the new one. Okay. Oh, that's going to suck. Um, do we get rid of the flooding before the next election? Actually, it shouldn't matter, but anyway. We have just the slightest surplus ever. May want to cut back on just something. Do we really need overwhelming force? I do not think so. And I really hope that cyber war... No, so warfare can't come back because uh, we cranked up the uh, internet censorship. Right, 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 right. Okay, what do we actually pay a lot for? State pensions. Um, our retired make up 27% by now, okay. And they love us. I mean, actually... Nope, that's the wrong one. Well, that's the one I want. You're the one that I want. Mm, 10 billion is going to be enough. Come on. Even numbers here. Even numbers. Nice. So I just want to go with, with a bit more surplus. Assassinate foreign terrorist leader. <sighs> I don't know if that's a 50-50 chance. But we're not going to do it because obviously we're neutral, so it would be weird even if it's, you know, just quote unquote a terrorist leader. Um, actually, we shouldn't even have an intelligence service. I mean, we do. Uh, Austria still has its intelligence service, as far as I know. I think every country really has one. Just because you don't see them doesn't mean there's only the, the CIA and the Mossad. No. Every country, or almost every country, has one. Credit rating downgraded. Are you kidding me? One turn before the election and we're not going to get rid of flooding. Damn. Well, still, we're so super popular. It's not going to be a problem. But we end on a deficit, which is not really what I wanted to do. But okay. So, last election. We've led the country for 10 years now. It was an easy round, granted. Uh, we're going to look at Serbia or Hungary next, and we're going to see that that's um, a lot more challenging. Retire and glory. But, you know, it's Austria, so I wanted to start with that. Let's look at the compass. Damn. Russia is really messing this one up. Well, oh wait, okay. What about my Steam friends, actually? Is someone else playing this game? Oh, well, here they are. Okay, cool, cool. That's probably what I what I would have thought. Okay. I'm still the most liberal. I'm I'm just such an anarcho liberal bastard. But we still have um the internet thingy. What is it called? The internet uh censorship. That's what it's called. So great mod, we're going to look at other great mods for Democracy 3. Um I'm going to download the new version for Argentina and hope that it's a little bit easier. Um, I mean, I'm going to play through all of them. I'm not going to scrap a recording just because I failed, because I'm not super good at this game. Uh, I really basically just want to do what I feel like, which is, of course, not what you what you should do. Um, also, a lot of my states end up being really the same. I am having a really hard time going like the... Uh, religious, conservative, xenophobic, homophobic route, so yeah. Maybe maybe that's why I'm, I'm doing so bad with Argentina. Maybe they just need, you know, a firmer grasp, more control, at least at the beginning. Well, yeah. Well, we're gonna see about that. That's it for the first round of Democracy 3. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.